right, family, today is a really big day for me. I am excited and nervous at the same time, simply because I will be showing my mother this house for the very first time. Today, we are here to see the house. We can't walk on the driveway yet, but I'm showing Nadia. Come here, baby. Showing Nadia and my mom the house. <laughs> what are you doing? Ringing the doorbell? Say hello. Can I come in? Yes. <laughs> it's it's locked. Oh no, it's locked. Can you ring the doorbell? Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right, family. Today is a really big day for me. I am excited and nervous at the same time, simply because I will be showing my mother this house for the very first time. All right, so we are in here and I'm just gonna walk her around. As you all know, the house is not completely finished yet, but she has been asking me about it so many times that I was like, you know what, let's just go, let me show it to you. So I'm just taking her from room to room and showing her and just giving her a little update and explanation of what we're doing. She is so impressed so so impressed and i am just so happy there is no other feeling in the world than having you know proud parents our goal a lot of us is to make our parents proud especially us africans <laughs> when i quit my nursing job to do a uh, business for myself i'm pretty sure my family were nervous i was very nervous and i was very scared as well because i didn't know if my family would really understand what i was doing especially my mom i felt like she would be concerned about how i was gonna make money um, <laughs> to pay my bills because i had a lot of them and i had a small child at the time but now it's been a few years and i'm still going still standing strong and she is so proud of me and again my goal in life is not only to do things that makes me happy but things that bring proud to my family and i feel like uh, by god's grace i'm doing my best so this is just me being silly <laughs> and happy that my mom is happy with what i'm doing <laughs> And this is honestly me in real life. This is just me. I'm silly. I don't take myself too seriously. And if you follow me on IG, you would know that because I have started to show more of my personality and I'm just having fun with everything I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, she is so impressed with everything and she is so proud. Um, and I am so proud of the progress as well. And I cannot wait to show you all, you know, the final look. The dog is coming over. Sit. 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 <laughs> oh. You said, no, nope, you're not my owner. Bye, doggy. Bye, doggy. See you later. Bye, doggy. See you later. Okay, let's go. I know a lot of you have been asking to see Nadia more. Nadia has a mind of her own. She just be doing her own thing. So I don't bother her too much when it comes to the videos. So that is why you haven't seen her as much. But Nadia is growing, y'all. Your niece has become such a big girl. She is very girly and very, very independent. She just likes to do her own thing and I'm here for it. <laughs> If you want to see Nadia more in the upcoming videos, please comment Nadia down below. <laughs> so we do still have a few things left to do and I'm going to show you that as we go. Like I said, the big things are easier to do because you know what to do and you just, if you need to paint, you paint. If you need to change the floor, you change the floor. But the tiny little things are the ones that are hard to finish up. For example, the outlet covering. Again, when we picked out the outlet covers, we didn't realize that it would stand out against the gray paint like it did because when we first picked it out, um, the walls were kind of brown. <laughs> so after painting it, it didn't make any sense. So now we have to change the whole thing. So this is just me making sure that all of the appliances work properly. <laughs> because I don't want any trouble and because I still have my contractor, if I catch anything, I can just have him fix it then and there. Mm -hmm. 
this is also the pantry. I don't know if I ever told you all about this, but yes, the pantry is pretty spacious. And this is a huge pantry. It's basically a walk-in pantry, but I'll show you more details about this here soon. So this is just me making a little list and making notes of some things that we're still going to need. And this is also me um, trying to change some of the outlet covers. As I told you guys, I have been learning a lot about this stuff from doing it so many times. And I have learned a few handy things here and there. So I'm gonna show you all the big, big difference that the white outlet cover is going to make versus the um, whatever this color is. It's like an off-white or um, I don't know. It's an ugly color. For, for the paint, at least, it's not, it's not a good fit. So I'm just going to show you all how I do it, okay? This is what goes here. So I've taken it out. So I have to find a day when I'm not busy to come put these up, but these are pretty simple. I've learned to do them, and it's really not rocket science. So, it already comes with the two matching nails in the little plate. So now, this was the old one, it was here. I'm gonna just put the new one on, and all I really have to do is line the holes up. There's a difference, big difference, right? So we're gonna do the rest of them. So these are the door stoppers. Um, you can either get the ones that goes on the floor here that stops the door, or you can get the ones that go behind the door. So this is how it works. You open the door like that. This part is usually the part that damages the door. But when the door goes open, see that? that stops it so it doesn't hurt the wall. So I got a whole bunch of these. These are a little more inexpensive than the other one and they're easy to put on. So you just peel it and stick it on. So I have them throughout the house, wherever there's a door. Sorry, oh, that's Nadia being loud. There is one there for this door. So it goes like that, like that. There's another one here. Um, all of the doors have them. All right, this is the basement. I don't know if y'all remember the basement, but it was a lot of work. It needed a lot. But now the basement has been painted. I'm gonna put another coat on the basement. This room has been painted. It's gonna get another coat. This could be like a workout room, storage room, something. We can make it into something. The washer and dryer area, we're gonna put a lot of stuff here. The floors are gonna be clean. This right here can be another workout room. Um, it can be whatever we want. It has carpet. I'm still debating if I wanna leave the carpet or take it out. But I think I'll leave it, just leave it there um, in case whoever is here wants to do something with it. But yes, the basement looks a lot better. It has this swing here. It was for the previous owners, for their kids. Um, it's pretty strong, and I think they used to use it when it was cold outside or something. But yeah, this is the basement. Hi. Look at these leaves. We literally just did the landscaping. And this is what it looks like now. How rude. <laughs> what are you doing? Ringing the doorbell? It's so pretty here. Nadia, come. Yay! <laughs> Fall leaves. <laughs> Play outside. Nadia, can you rake up the leaves for me? Can you clean it up for me, please? 
No? Pretty please. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, family, so as you can see here, as I said, the whole house is pretty much done. I am so proud of this house. This is probably one of my biggest, most drastic transitions so far, and I am just so, so proud of how far we've come. Some of the things left to be done is to give the basement another coat of paint so that the white stands out better. We have to install the refrigerator. We still have to pick that up from my other house. We have to do something called a punch out, which means I get to walk around the house with my contractor and really look at every single thing in details and let them know what things need to be changed or what things need to be redone. And as for the deck, I'm going to show you all in the next video what I ended up doing with that. Are we going to stain it or paint it? And if we are going to stain it or paint it, what color are we going to do? Are we going for a natural wood color? Are we going for a white deck? Or are we using gray to match the house? The master bathroom also needs a little bit more work. It needs to be deep cleaned and some of the fixtures needs to be changed. The vinyl flooring was the only thing we didn't have to change in the entire house, which thank goodness for that because that would have been a lot of expenses as well. After that, the final thing to do with the house is to give it a nice deep clean in every single room and mop the floors. If you have been loving this series so far, please go ahead and comment your favorite part so far down below. And also, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up that is going to encourage me to bring more videos like these to you all. And I have been trying my best to stay consistent with the videos and I hope you all are loving and appreciating it. All right, family, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment your favorite part of the video and also make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you never miss another video. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.